hey, you guys, uh, some people were asking me how to make a commentary reel. Some people were curious about it. The key to making a good commentary reel is you don't want it to be very long. I think at max, you want the commentary reel to be two to four minutes or so. That's around what you probably want. When you do a commentary reel, the first clip, the very first thing you should hear is your voice. And if it's not your voice, your face should be there with a lower third that says your name. If the video starts and you don't know who the commentator is, that's you, that's bad. Imagine if the commentary reel starts and there's a guy talking and you're like, okay, this is the guy. And then some other guy talks, right? And then the next clip starts and you don't hear the original voice. And you're like, wait a minute. Who was the guy that, wait, the second guy is the com? And then you're already trying to figure out who's who. And on the first clip, you were focusing on the first voice you heard because you thought it was the guy whose commentary reel you were listening to. And then you're like, oh shit, now I'm all kinds of confused. The second thing is when it comes to cutting out clips and stuff like that, if you don't have very much footage, I would recommend going through your footage and just seeing what seems like it would be good on a commentary reel. Look up some examples of whatever you're the best at. If you're an analysis guy, find a few moments of you delivering some analysis or doing some something like that, some play-by-play -play with something in it like that. If you're a guy who's built around hype, right, go in and find some hype moments that you did and delivered. And if you have the ability to, you have enough clips, then look for some examples of you doing multiple things, showing off multiple skill sets. What if it's my face, but your commentary? That's a bad idea. You probably shouldn't do that. I don't know if you'll get away with it. Well, to be fair, everybody thinks everybody sounds like me. So, you know, you might get away with it. So I'll show you guys something. The three commentary reels that I've made. Sage M's Evo uh, 2019 commentary reels, two and a half minutes. 2018 commentary reel, 357. 20, this is a long time ago, 2015 maybe? Three minutes, right? Yeah, I usually make one every year. So the very first one I ever made, this is the old one, four years ago. All right, here we go. Foxy Grandpa playing Tempest. My, the very first clip is my voice, right? That's important because the next thing you're gonna hear is the other commentator's voice. But you want it to be your voice from the beginning. If not, make it very clear who you are. And that is actually a punish on that uh, badly spaced hat there. Corner pressure already for Dragon. Will he start with a spin? STB Dragon. Into the corner, gonna do it again. And this now, is exactly how we started against Coach Steve. Yeah, or is there gonna be a spin from Foxy? No, and he doesn't get the block This is when there. Dragon was like this it's up and coming kid. We're like, who is this guy? Man, that is the sign of a top player. Uh -oh. A throw that early in the yeah, round. Yeah, it's me and Rip doing it. MK. Oh. So, you know, there's this MK footage, then there's like uh, multiple Sir, games here, right? So there's Street Fighter 4 footage. Oh, oh like my this. god, chat room. Oh no. No, oh, no, not no. like this. Oh. Oh, dude. Oh, God. Maximum jerk mode. <laughs> that yeah. So there's Street Fighter 4 footage, and then there's like some more Street Fighter 4 footage, etc. I did this, and it was an example of doing a commentary reel. And before this, I don't think a lot of people had done them. So this is like a good, you know, kind of primer of like, what the fuck does a commentary reel sound like? So then this is my 2018 one. Yeah, Ricky, you're gonna get a chance here. He's got three. Oh, oh, oh no, I forgot I about said, this. Be careful, my man. Oh, he can't see you if you don't move. All right. That's, <laughs> that's <just stop laughs> I forgot about this from Evo Japan. It's Colossus, the legend. Oh, that's Jurassic Park strategy. That's the Jurassic Park strategy. You just gotta stop moving in the Jeep, man. You'll be fine. This is a uh, this is a Evo Japan it's, jump off. No, it, they smell movement. <laughs> they smell movement. They smell they smell movement. movement. <laughs> that's, that's, that's this is me awesome. fucking up, that's by the way. That's why I like starting yeah, with this yeah, clip. Yeah, what, what kind of Jura you seen Jurassic World two already? That's, yeah, the, that's, that's the next level. They mm -hmm. sense the movement, man. They, yeah. First they they yeah, it was they cold this year. Class. This is when it was in Tokyo the first time. The next is Volcanic Akuma versus the Jewish Jew. High level play. Oh, what an incredible match. Like a scrub. That's one of my favorite things Steve has done, by the way. This is uh, the TWT event. This was uh, TFC. This is TFC, maybe. I was commentating uh, Tekken here with Rip. This is a uh, top eight of Tekken that we did. in. This is a 2017 top eight for Tekken. Here. Oh, oh my God. Point. Yeah, he found it. Right in his face. Hits the wall. He's going to take Don't damage. Oh, my God. He actually teched. I can't oh, believe it. Oh, the blue stuff. Adjusted the mock kick. Is that enough? Ah, oh, he right Did he cancel? No. Oh, that oh my God. Was fast enough. Jimmy J. Tran with the comeback. That was incredible. Running people mm -hmm. pressure. More uh, Tekken footage here. So this is a cool one. This is one thing I wanted to show, obviously, in this reel was that I can do a lot of games, right? So KOF was first, even though it wasn't even really commentary. Then there's Street Fighter. Then there's Tekken. <laughs> then there's the big E League. This is like a higher production, like, you know. <laughs> Wow, 
the drop of the century. Yeah, that was a fun one. And then there's the well, not for Phenom, maybe. Then there's the Daigo getting a Red Bull clip. <laughs> there's so many good moments on this. Is a fun reel, actually. I forgot about this one. Oh, and then I ended it with Jenga. Damn, I'm smart. This is a good call by me. Good job, pass me. I honestly didn't remember that I put Jenga at the end of this thing. And then my newest one. The one thing that I really wanted to show in this one. So my commentary reel shows off something new each year, I think. I wanted to show diversity and flexibility in 2018. Or 2017 was the footage. 2018 was when it came out. This is all footage from 2018 for my 2019 reel. And in 2018, one big thing I wanted to get better at is getting hype. So you'll notice that a lot of my clips are me being more hype. Finals here at Combo Breaker. Sonic Fox Goichi, the US versus Japan's finals. A lot more hype moments for me in this one, for sure. And winning moments as well. Mix up away, ladies and gentlemen, from taking this away. And the jump low. Sonic Fox, your Combo Breaker 2018 Dragon Ball Fighters champion. More of those resources trying to find an opening. This is Winner's Finals of Capcom Co. A lot of resources on this. He's getting close to being able to kill. Sets out. V Trigger uses the Kunai to get rid of it, but he spends a bar. Make sure he can jump in over it. Yeah, and he had, had to, to respect it. it. Had to stop it. Oh, the crush. That's going to do it. Hey, let's go. Oh, hey. not in range. Activates the block, though. Oh, this, is, this is a good clip, too. Wow. I forgot about this. Flash kick. Throws another boom. Another, another one. Not good. Don't. <laughs> It's just a highlight reel of Steve and I, essentially. I forgot about this, to be honest. I remember when I posted this, people were like, you should just submit this for you and Steve. Oh, the sandwich. Fancy on the jump. Oh, the backhand. You see him buffering. He's waiting for it. Goshkun wants the roll kick. Dashes up. Looks for the sweep. Get off of me. Overhead. Oh, the throw. Goshkun takes it. First game in the tits. Back and forth. Round for round, but it's two straight in that last match. Gotcha, Kuhn. Staying alive. Wow. Man, there's a lot of Street Fighter in here. Making sure he feels the pain. Oh, NCR. He's got the meter available. The demon in the night. He called it, and the demon comes out. Already taking a drink. The demon in the night. Tying things up. Two apiece off the jump. Heavy kick. You notice the combo round he mm. did. He's Evo Japan. EX into V Trigger 2. This is F word and I doing Evo Japan Finals 2019. A lot more hype moments in this for me for sure. There's a little there's a nice mix though, I think, of analysis and hype. Getting close. Next it'll do it, Momochi with the hand. Momochi is your Evo Japan champion. Yeah, a lot more big moments. One thing for sure in this is you notice a lot more winning moments for me too. So yeah, this one is cool. I think 2018 is a little bit more like laid back. This one has some funny moments too. But yeah, I mean, important thing about it is short and sweet, right? Two and a half minutes. Steve, my arm for this year's real look. Who do you think you are? It was in the Evo trailer. They put Steve, my arm in the Evo trailer. Like I couldn't actually believe that. Anyway, the point of this was to say, keep the, sh the commentary real short and sweet, right? And think about them in the way of like, what are you good at? What do you want to show people? The commentary real is you selling your ability. So what do you want to show people you're good at? You want to show them that you work well with others. You're very diverse. You can do a lot of games. You're hype. You're whatever it is, right? That's what you want to show them. It does not need to be well edited. The edits for my commentary reel, I do them every year. And I just had Moss make a thumbnail on him because if there wasn't a thumbnail, he'd probably fucking kill me. And I just keep him nice and easy. If this clip ends, and it just fades out into the next clip. Nothing fancy. There's zero fancy editing. There's no intro. Nothing like that. That doesn't matter. In fact, fancy editing to me, I, it, I think it could detract from the quality of your reel if you're doing it for a fighting game tournament. It just needs to be simple and really easily put together. I think that this is all people care about. If I was the person judging these reels, which I'm not, I wouldn't really care too much about the editing. It's not a detractor or something that would make me want to pick you up. If you have someone else edit it and it's very nicely put together, that's great. But for me, I really just care about seeing what the work you've done. At what point in the reel should I slip my bribe in? It should be in the email with the reel. If I've taught you anything, that's what you should know. The email with the reel should say, if I see you there, I might have a little something something. What about feet pick? That's the bribe. That's what something something means.